One, two, three. What is up you guys my name is Elias and I love movies and today I want to talk to you guys about the MPAA and how I don't really agree with it. This video was suggested by Superman51. Hope you're doing good man and I really appreciate this idea for a video. By the way if any of you ever have a suggestion or an idea for a video or maybe a question that could possibly be answered with a video please feel free to do so. So who is the MPAA? MPAA stands for Motion Picture Association of America. It's pretty much a group of idiots that think they have the right to decide who is allowed to watch what at what certain age. The ratings are G, PG, PG-13, R, and NC-17. Now don't get me wrong, I do believe that there should be some sort of rating system. There is in fact a huge difference between kids movies and adult movies. It's everything in between that I'm not too sure about whenever it comes to the rating system. The reason I think I have the right to share my opinion on this matter is because one, I'm human and two, I have three kids of my own. It is known that this secret group that rate films are known to be ordinary people and should be trusted by the average parent. I mean seriously, what is an average parent and who defines ordinary? I'm sure we can all agree that most films in the US are rated PG-13. I mean let's face it, the number one audience in the US is the PG-13 audience. When you rate a movie PG-13, you are literally creating a wider range, a bigger audience to view the movie. Um, okay, so here's a question for you. Who decides when a kid becomes an adult? We all mature differently. We all find humor in different things. Every single person in the world is offended by something different. Just because a few curse words or a pair of tits or maybe even a dick offends someone does not mean it's going to offend the next person. There's nothing wrong with having a different opinion or liking something different because we are all entertained by different things. Why is it okay to give a comedy that has a male actor masturbating a PG-13 but a drama with a female actress doing the same thing a NC-17 or an R. But a film that has nothing sexual but is completely covered in violence and curse words can get a PG-13. Or maybe a movie that has absolutely no sex, no nudity, no violence, but because you heard three fucks, it immediately gets an R? How does that make any sense? I have to understand that whenever it comes to rating a film, NC-17 is actually worse than R. The younger person still has the ability to watch the film, they just have to watch it under parental guidance. But when a movie is rated NC-17, no one under 17 can watch it, no matter what. No excuses. Which means that when a film is rated NC-17, it makes for a smaller audience. So why would a filmmaker or a studio want that? Okay, so let me get this straight. You mean to tell me that every single 17 year old in the US is smarter and more mature than every single 16 or 15 year old in the US? No. Makes no sense. Whenever a movie is done being shot and edited, it is immediately sent to the MPAA so that it can get a rating. The ratings do actually help promote the film. That's how the audience knows who is being targeted. It also helps them decide which theaters are going to be showing the movie and how many. Let's say a film does get an NC-17 rating, which already means most people aren't even going to be able to watch it. Most theaters won't play it, and most stores won't even sell it. The MPAA is pretty much judging the artist for what they've created. The MPAA will then force the artist, the filmmaker, to present them a different cut of the film so that it gets a different rating. You have to understand that these filmmakers are artists and they work really hard in putting their projects together. And to force an artist to change his work just so that they can be allowed to show it to people it's just wrong. A simple edit of a film can easily change the tone of the whole entire movie. They are literally changing the vision that the artist originally had for his or her own work. That's something that no one should have the right to do. So if a filmmaker refuses 
to cut their film or make any changes, they can actually fight and try to get an appeal to where they get a different rating without changing anything. And I'm sure a lot of us can already imagine how many filmmakers actually win. The problem is that the people that are involved with the appeal and have the final say work for major studios. So of course they're gonna take the side of the MPAA so that the filmmaker changes the film so that it gets a different rating because they want it in theaters because all they're thinking about is making sure that every single person gets paid. Film is art and if something offends you, just don't watch it. It's literally that simple. If you don't think your child should be watching something, then don't let them. Like I said in the beginning of the video, there's a pretty big difference between children's movies and adult movies. There shouldn't be all of these ratings, all of these in-betweens. It should be as simple as possible. You have kids movies, you have adult movies, because who's to say what a person is mature enough to watch when every single person is different? Of course, I can't speak for everyone, but I believe that at the age of 14 and 15, I felt mature enough to watch NC-17 or rated R films by myself. But hey, this is just my opinion and maybe I'm taking it a little bit too seriously. Let me know what you guys think about the MPAA and the rating system. I know there's a lot that can be said on this and I know there's a lot of people out there with their own opinions. Please leave any comments that you have down below. Like the video if you like, subscribe for more videos if you want, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Thank you for watching Gary Movie House. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Peace out, homies.